This morning, renewing the PFAS fight. If state lawmakers are making any progress on regulating the forever chemicals in our drinking water. Plus, top kid concerns. A new survey of parents shares what they're worried the most about when it comes to their children. Starting off very cold this morning. Some temperatures below zero, but uh, warmer weather expected this afternoon. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. It is hump day. It is the start of a new month. Some fresh feeling anyway. You know the great thing about February? It's only 28 days long. Shortest <laughs> month of the year. We're getting closer to spring, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking about that, with especially with the sun out later. And one thing we have enjoyed is a lot of sun, even though we're dealing with these very cold temperatures in the morning. Got that dryer in place. The winds are fairly calm, at least in Madison. That's why we're down to three below. Juno at two below, seven below in Lone Rock, 10 below currently in Boscobel. Now, they do have a little bit of a wind down in Monroe. That's why the uh, wind chill is down to 14 below. So I guess it's kind of a trade off either you have very cold temperatures or you have a bit of a wind either way it's a very cold start to the morning but lots of sun today and tomorrow and not as bitterly cold as what we saw yesterday pretty nice weather the next couple of days but then we've got another arctic blast arriving briefly friday could be seeing some of those windchill values even colder than yesterday close to 30 below zero in the morning mild weather returns this weekend and really setting up to be a pretty nice forecast going into the weekend three below right now with the calm winds at the airport temperatures though warming as that southwest wind picks up temperatures in the upper teens by the noon hour. All right, Kelly, thank you. The defendant in a homicide off John Nolan is due in court today. 40-year-old Edward Smith is charged with one count of first-degree murder. He's being held on a $1 million cash bond. He'll be in court for his arraignment this afternoon. Smith's accused of shooting 36-year-old Shantari Riley on November 22nd. Riley was found with gunshot wounds in the area of Lakeside Street in John Nolan. He was taken to a local hospital where he later died. You can find details of the criminal complaint up on channel3000.com. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office investigating after they say multiple homes were shot at this week. Officials said someone shot at an occupied home in Aztalan just after 8 p.m. Monday. Then, a half hour later, someone shot at another occupied home in the city of Jefferson. We've called the Sheriff's Department to try to learn more, but we'll have to wait for more information. Officials said the shootings appear to be targeted and there's no ongoing safety concerns for the general public. Today marks the start of Black History Month here in Wisconsin and across the country. The Wisconsin Black Legislative Caucus is kicking it off with a celebration today. The event is being held this afternoon on the first floor rotunda of the state capitol at noon. Across the country, people will be celebrating and learning about black history, but in Florida, it will look much different this year. The state's Republican governor signing legislation restricting certain race-based conversations in schools and businesses. As Christian Benavidez reports, one retired professor has vowed to keep teaching uncomfortable truths. The first time I came out here. For Dr. Marvin Dunn, the town of Rosewood is hallowed ground, the site of one of the worst race massacres in Florida history. In 1923, a white mob burned down a thriving black community. Rosewood is one of the stops on Dunn's Teach the Truth tour. High school student Janaya Spivey took the tour in January. They kind of made me angry because these black people, they didn't deserve being killed. Dunn, a retired professor at Florida International University, started the tours after Governor Ron DeSantis signed a law called the Individual Freedom Act, limiting what can be taught about race. You're afraid that they're not being taught this in the classroom. I know that they're not being taught this in the classroom. They're not being taught any kind of history, black history, that could possibly embarrass or make a white person feel guilty. The law referred to as the Stop Woke Act by its supporters says an individual should should not be made to feel guilt, anguish, or other forms of psychological distress based on past actions by members of the same race. The state law has created confusion over what educators can say about race. Florida's Education Department recently rejected an advanced placement African American Studies course, citing in part lessons on reparations, the Black Lives Matter movement, and black gender and sexuality. We want education, not indoctrination. The law has also been cited in the removal of books, including Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye, from school libraries in Pinellas County. Right now, Florida is the least free state in the union. 
where they're trying to limit information available to, to children and to their parents. Last fall, a federal judge paused the law's implementation in public colleges and universities. No matter the final outcome, Dunn says he will keep teaching the history he feels all Florida students should know. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. The College Board, which is testing out the new AP African American Studies course, says it plans to unveil that curriculum today. State lawmakers are working to hash out the state's PFAS problem and the chemicals in our drinking water. Governor Evers recently proposed spending $100 million for PFAS testing and mitigation in the next budget. Now the state Senate is discussing how to move forward. State DNR officials called yesterday's meeting a start but are asking for much more, including funding to communities struggling to provide clean drinking water and implementing PFAS regulations and standards. We might have to have another hearing to just really dig into the minutia of the governor's plan. But there are different pots of money that are already being tapped into. Two years ago, Republicans on the Budget Committee rejected a number of key initiatives to address PFAS contamination. Other bipartisan measures have faced roadblocks as well. One area of agreement, though, was regulating PFAS in firefighting foam. A new survey this morning finds parents are concerned about their children's mental health. 40% of parents are extremely or very worried their children will struggle with anxiety or depression at some point. That's according to the new research by Pew Center. Experts say parents can watch for signs of anxiety and depression like decreased interest in things, poor self-esteem, and changes in mood, eating, or sleep. Pew also found some parents were struggling with burnout. Nearly two-thirds of respondents and said being a parent is somewhat harder than expected. An update now on the man arrested during an incident where a Madison police officer shot another officer. A judge sentenced the defendant to five years in prison. 20-year-old Katani Richardson pleaded guilty to multiple charges as part of a plea deal. He was also sentenced to five years of extended supervision. You may remember this incident. It happened back in October 2021. Richardson was arrested during an incident where a Madison police officer inadvertently shot another officer while trying to take Richardson into custody. Richardson was allegedly armed with a loaded gun at the time, but court documents make no mention of him ever firing a weapon. If you are planning on requesting an absentee ballot for the upcoming spring election, the clerk's office says the deadline to request one is the Thursday before March 30th. Officials recommend marking or making your request as early as possible. Anyone who has already requested an absentee ballot, check your mailboxes because the city has already started, already started shipping them out. And developing this morning a lot lawsuit was filed with the intent to uh, block two Republican-sponsored measures from appearing on the April ballot. The Wisconsin Criminal Justice Advocacy Group argues the measures were not submitted on time to correct elections officials. One question is a proposed constitutional amendment that would allow judges to consider more factors when setting bail. The other is an advisory referendum that asks voters if they believe that able-bodied childless welfare recipients should be required to look for work. Spending in Wisconsin's governor's race shattered previous records last year. By more than 75%, the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign says overall more than $164 million was spent. They say about $88 million was spent by Democrats and Governor Evers, compared with nearly $76 million from Tim Michaels' campaign and Republicans. The previous record was set in 2018. Right now, Nikki Haley is reportedly going to try running for president. A source familiar with her plans say that the former South Carolina governor will email supporters next week about an event to officially launch her campaign. The Republican served six years as governor, then as ambassador to the United Nations. She would be the second GOP candidate in the race for the nomination after former President Trump. New this morning, February marks the start of a new month, but unfortunately to the Red Cross, it just means more shortages when it comes to the blood supply. They're offering up some incentives to give right now. Donors of all types are needed, especially type O blood donors though, and platelet donors. And thanks for helping out. Uh, all who give in this month of February will get a $10 Amazon gift card. You'll also be entered to win a trip for two to Clearwater Beach, Florida. Details are available at the Red Cross's website. 609 right now, a West Side power surge fried a lot of major appliances. We're helping find solutions for those impacted. After a hot start, Badgerman's basketball is struggling. Head coach Greg Gard knows it and knows what the team needs to do to right the ship. 
When treating shoulder pain, I think one of the most important things that we need to do is uh, listen to our patients. Most times, just listening to the patient, letting them explain what's been bothering them, I'm able to help confirm a diagnosis. A prosecutor, now Circuit Court Judge, Janet Protosewitz. On the Supreme Court, I'll be a common sense judge. I'll protect public safety. I believe in a woman's freedom to make her own decision on abortion. It's time for a change. If you think about it, hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? Mm. That's also true. Get your favorite McDonald's breakfast today, like a sausage McMuffin and hash browns or a sausage biscuit with hash browns. Each pairing just $2.50. For the plunge you never thought they'd take. For the day you never thought would come. For all the years that have come and gone. For all those special moments that make life worth living. Diamond Select, downtown Stoughton. Chicago. Celebrating 25 years of Broadway Razzle Dazzle. The Associated Press calls Chicago the most entertaining musical of the decade. Paint the town again with Chicago the Musical. At Overture, March 21st through 26th. Tickets at Overture.org. Oof. Gotta get rid of this. Tell me why. Because it stinks. Tell me why. I don't know. I've washed it so many times. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried new Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them three times better than detergent alone. Yeah. I guess the odor went bye-bye. Nope. That's not us. Sorry. Rinse odor away with new Downy Rinse and Refresh. I'm voting for Judge Janet Protasiewicz for Supreme Court. She believes in our freedom to make our own decisions when it comes to abortion. Extremists want to ban abortion. Even in cases of rape and the health of the mother. Judge Janet Protasiewicz is the change Wisconsin needs. When treating shoulder pain, I think one of the most important things that we need to do is uh, listen to our patients. Most times, just listening to the patient, letting them explain what's been bothering them, I'm able to help confirm a diagnosis. This morning. We're back at 612 this morning, recouping expenses for damaged furnaces and appliances after a power surge. That is the situation for many this morning after 2,000 people lost power because of a crash on Madison's west side. Armand Rahman has the latest. It was the same ominous sound heard in many West Side households Friday night. We heard a couple of big pops and flashes. There were a couple of popping sounds and then it went dark. And the same unpleasant surprises the next morning. You know, the house went from 65 to 50, yeah. and it was continuing to go down, so gonna go do laundry. Oh, the washer doesn't work. Um, gonna heat something up in the oven doesn't heat up. Brian Tennant in Westmoreland was able to get his furnace up and running on Saturday. He's still working on repairing other appliances. Well, I mean, I'm anticipating an out-of-pocket cost of a couple thousand, probably conservatively. Meanwhile, in the Sunset Village neighborhood, Max Coons awoke to similar short circuits. Come upstairs and find some bulbs that had exploded out of their sockets. We found out that the water heater the circuit board on that was fried, and we found out that our dishwasher was out, too. When they contacted MG&E for help, they got this. I mean, she was cordial and professional, but just basically said, like, you know, we're, we're not liable. Too bad, so sad, or we'll get back to you, or 
contact our legal department. An mg e spokesperson says what happened was rare and uncontrollable. State law says utility companies are not liable for service interruptions caused by circumstances out of their control. But in my mind, just because you're not required to doesn't mean it's not the right thing to do. For many now, the question of meeting their insurance deductible is on their own. Educating, like you said, customers in terms of what measures we might be able to take. That was Armand Rahman reporting. MG&E says customers should reach out to the homeowner's insurance providers to get some of those costs covered. They will help get the proper documentation to insurance companies. You can also contact their legal department. Meanwhile, the Public Service Commission recommends contacting the Wisconsin Home Energy Assistance Program for emergency furnace repair, replacement, and crisis assistance. Boy, what a headache yeah, for everyone not great. involved. Huh? Okay, let's check in with Kelly Slifke here. It is uh, 6.15, right on the nose. Yeah. Uh, low temperature today, what do we got? Four below, so yeah, it was another below zero morning, and it wasn't widespread, it's just simply because we had calm winds. Obviously, we have the cold air mass in place. Uh, you can see some of these lows uh, below zero along the Wisconsin River, where they did not get below zero. Uh, that's because they had a little bit of a wind overnight, so it was kind of a trade-off, depending on where you were at this morning. Right now, we're only up to three below here in Madison, still have the calm winds. Some areas still have a a little bit of a wind keeping temperatures in the single numbers, but you can see along the Wisconsin River Valley down to 10 below right now in Basketball. So temperatures vary quite a bit, even across Dane County. In fact, the airport is one of the colder spots at three below most locations in the single numbers this morning. We do have a southwest wind that will pick up already up to 10 miles per hour in Monroe. So that's creating a wind chill of 13 below. Five below is a wind chill in the Adels. It feels like temperature in Basketball at 10 below. Not much wind right now in Madison, but eventually we'll see that southwest wind pick up and bring us some warmer air. One thing we've had is quiet weather. A lot of sunshine the last few days has been bitterly cold. All the storm track has been down to our south. We're really producing a mess across Texas, the lower Mississippi Valley, and then into the mid-Atlantic states. But for us, we'll have dry conditions and a warming trend. It looks like the next couple days look pretty nice with the sunshine. That southwest wind should push our temperatures into the lower 20s. Uh, this evening, we should be falling down in the teens. It won't be as cold tonight. There will be a bit of a breeze, making it feel a little bit colder. We do have a lot of snow on the ground across the state. Probably noticed with that dry, fluffy snow, it's actually shrunk a little bit. That's because there was a lot of air in that snow, very dry and fluffy, but really good conditions this afternoon and also tomorrow to enjoy this snow. Look at that snowpack in northern Wisconsin, over two feet of snow up there toward a superior. But as mentioned around here, generally about six to eight inches of snow on the ground currently. We do have an alert day, though, going into a Thursday night into Friday. That's when we have an Arctic air mass headed away. Wind chills by... Friday morning could be close to 30 below, even colder than what we saw yesterday. We've got mild weather the next couple of days, or at least seasonable weather before that cold air moves in Thursday night into Friday. Quickly, it moves out of the east, and we're back into some warmer temperatures. Uh, forecast today, 22 with mostly sunny skies, not as cold. 23 tomorrow, alert day Thursday night into Friday, waking up to below zero temperatures. And it, it won't be as cold as what we saw yesterday morning, but that wind will be a little bit stronger, so those wind chill values may be even harsher, closer to 30 below, but we warm up for the weekend. All right, Kelly Slifka, thanks a lot. Lot. Here's sports director Zach Hanley with your morning sports. Hate to say it, but lately the Badger men's basketball team has kind of been playing bad. They've struggled on offense and defense and haven't played a full 40 minutes during the stretch where they've lost six of the last seven games. So the question is, how do they get back on track? Well, Greg Gard had a couple solutions. Have his big three, Tyler Wall, Stephen Crawl, and Chucky Hepburn, get better shots and more shots. And then his easy answer is just play better. We got to play better. I mean, you got to play better offensively, play better defensively. I don't think it's any secret. I mean, I don't think there's a, it hasn't been for a lack of an effort, of effort. Um, I know we got to get our main three guys more and better shots. So I don't think there's anything magical that's going to get said or be done. Um, we have to become more consistent. Drew Holiday all smiles tonight, and why not when you have Giannis on your team? Bucks hosting the Hornets, and the all-star captain was doing it on both ends. First, Giannis comes up with a block and then turns defense into offense with three the old-fashioned way. Giannis finished with 34 points and 18 rebounds. Then later in the fourth, it's a four-on-one, and Javon Carter don't care. He pulls up from deep. Bucks get the win, 124 to 115. It was a party in Partiesville when Fall River in, was in town for a big game in the Trailways West, and the Pirates showed why they're atop the conference standings. Cullen Rawls to the cup for two, 
plus one to give Fall River an early lead. Partyville, though, wouldn't hang tough. Caleb Gard goes to the bank thanks to a nice cut, and the Bulldogs are back on top, but that lead wouldn't last long. Cullen roll, or Keegan Rolls dishes it off to Shavlik Schultz, and he does the rest. Fall River gets the win 60-47. to 47. The news on Aaron Rodgers' future is that there is no news. Currently, the Packers quarterback is preparing for the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Now, he said on the Pat McAfee show that he could get used to life on Pebble Beach. But he also said while watching the NFC Championship game, his mind wanted to be what it would be like to still be playing. All that means is we're going to have to wait a couple more weeks on his decision. Meanwhile, Wanakee's Rob Booker made his decision. He's staying home. The three-star tight end is going to be a Badger. Booker chose Wisconsin over Iowa, Minnesota, and Michigan State, among other Power 5 schools. He's Luke Fickle's first in-state commitment for the 2024 class. Back to you. 6.20 right now. Coming up, we'll show you how Punxsutawney Phil is preparing for Groundhog Day. And in our next half hour, State of Our Schools, the Madison superintendent lays out his top priorities moving forward. Watch News 3 Now at 6 with Eric, Charlotte, Gary, and Zach. Weeknights. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure, he's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm, just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um, we're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen. Menards is your home improvement destination. Why settle for a plain ceiling when there are so many stylish and durable ceiling options? Armstrong ceiling tiles come in a variety of styles that are easy to install. Then give any room a fresh look with the beauty and durability of Mohawk tile. Add a stylish finishing touch to your home with Logan Springs Charcoal Ceramic Tile. Right now, just $1.19 each. Save big money in your next project now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobus and it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobuson.com to apply. We want to thank Linda for sharing her morning with us. Uh, nice foggy start to her morning. From the way she sends a lot of pictures in, uh, all from outdoors. I'm jealous of how much time she gets to spend outside. Although this morning it's another really chilly start, so 
Uh, it's nice to be inside on a day like today. I'll say that. <laughs> it definitely is. Well, you'll have an opportunity to take a uh, picture like this this morning. It should be beautiful sunrise. It's been yeah. nice, at least with the colder weather this week. We've at least been able to have some sunshine. Yeah. We haven't had a lot of sunshine this entire month, so this has been nice. Yeah, it's going to warm things up a little bit today, too. That'll be great. Hey, if you want to share your morning with us, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media. Be like Linda. Share your morning. All right, Groundhog Day is tomorrow, and folks around the country and the world are gearing up to make the pilgrimage to see Punxsutawney Phil. And that means some pretty good business for the small town. Punxsutawney has 6,000 people or so that live there, and on Groundhog Day, they see 20 to 30,000. This year, the expectations are really high. Buxitani fills a final inductee, too, in the Meteorologist <laughs> Hall of Fame, Kelly Slutka. Yeah, I'm, I'm nowhere near that, but, you know, <laughs> there goes it for a rodent. <clears throat> Glorified meteorologist. <laughs> well, you're in our Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> no. I mean... It is funny because, you know, we did the research. I think Punxsutawney is only about 40% accurate. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty bad. So <laughs> that's, probably, of, that's probably what people at home think their local meteorologist is. <laughs> I, I know that's what they think. Trust me. Getting uh, paid for being wrong every single not, day. Not that you hear about it, right? <laughs> Goodness. You're accurate. You're well, most accurate. Are we still Madison, certified? So we're still close. We, yes. we, we are. Close. Right. All right. Good deal. Well, we've got uh, some uh, cold weather again this morning, but thankfully we do have a warmer day on tap. It should be really nice this afternoon. I know we're getting off to this really cold start. Temperatures below zero, three below in Madison, seven below in Lone Rock. A little bit of wind down in the south. That's why the wind chill in at Monroe is 13 below, eight below in Janesville, Juneau at 12 below. So the uh, winds out of the southwest will pick up, and that should warm us up into the lower 20s today. Another day full of sunshine, so it should be a pretty nice afternoon for us. Another repeat going into tomorrow with not as cold conditions tonight 23 we do have an alert day coming in Thursday night into Friday that'll bring us some bitterly cold temperatures and also wind chill values close to 30 below uh, warming up next week as well ne uh, this weekend and also next week pretty quiet weather as well update on that uh, comment that'll be passing through tonight we'll talk more about that coming up cool okay stick around folks more news three now this morning right after this News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When treating shoulder pain, I think one of the most important things that we need to do is uh, listen to our patients. Most times, just listening to the patient, letting them explain what's been bothering them, I'm able to help confirm a diagnosis. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. And if you haven't tried Plexiderm, we've created the best offer yet with our Valentine's Day Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Even the 11 lines between your eyes are visibly gone in minutes. Plexiderm works so well that celebrities in Hollywood and people just like you feel years younger in minutes. This is why I'm letting people try it for only $14.95 this this Valentine's Day at PlexidermTrial.com. So I've had under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks. I have spent so much money on tons of eye creams, eye gels. Finally, I tried something called Plexiderm. And I'm not joking, it works. When I do a collage and everything is done, it looks amazing. That is exactly how Plexiderm makes me feel. I put it on my face and somehow, some way, I look together, which is amazing. I'm Jackie and I took the Plexiderm 10 minute challenge and so should you. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. And yet, when you look in the mirror, what you see necessarily isn't what you feel inside. Plexiderm, seriously, honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell rock. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing the appearance of under eye bags and wrinkles in minutes. This Valentine's Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. So if under eye bags make you look tired or feel older, take action this Valentine's Day and see that younger looking you. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. When the weather gets cold, spring's break. 
fixing broken garage doors, that's all we do here at Precision. Our vehicles are literally like a warehouse on wheels. We can fix a broken spring the same day and get you on your way. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Oh, I'll have another. Make it a double. Dad, Mom thinks she's at a resort again. Yeah, she told me. When you'd rather not resort to a virtual resort. This is much better in real life. It matters where you stay. Looking good, babe. Hilton, for the stay. When treating shoulder pain, I think one of the most important things that we need to do is uh, listen to our patients. Most times, just listening to the patient, letting them explain what's been bothering them, I'm able to help confirm a diagnosis. emergency in sight. What that means for your family when it comes to treatments, testing, and vaccinations. And a Milwaukee baby killed after the car he was in was stolen. What investigators are saying this morning. And it is another very cold start to our morning. Some temperatures below zero, but a warm-up's in store later today. Good morning, folks. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. It is February 1st. Guess what? 47 days to spring, guys. Hey, that's not bad. That's something <laughs> shortest, to look forward to yeah, this morning. Shortest month of the year as well. All about the positive energy, even though it's really yeah, cold. Yeah, we out. need it. <laughs> we need it because February is off to a real frosty start, Kelly. At least we got the sun, and that's one consolation we're getting with this cold air mass in place. Uh, temperatures right now are starting out below zero here in Madison and they vary quite a bit because there isn't a whole lot of wind but if you get a little bit of a wind it keeps the temperature up a little bit but then you got to deal with the wind chill so it's kind of a trade-off there but it is three below zero you're gonna have to bundle up this morning uh, once again uh, the wind chill right now in Monroe with a little bit of a wind at 13 below Juno at 12 below the Dells five below Lone Rock currently seven below as well so we've got the cold start to the morning but a lot of sun expected again today and also tomorrow and really pretty nice early February weather expected for this afternoon into and also tomorrow there is going to be another arctic blast arriving tomorrow night into friday and then it looks like we got a nice warm-up as we head into the weekend but we'll have to watch out for some of those wind chills uh, waking up friday morning might be even colder than what we saw yesterday morning it is cold right now at the airport it's three below but notice that wind is calm once we get that wind to pick up a little bit should be warming up fairly quickly through the teens and we're headed into the low 20s uh, we will talk more about a comet that hasn't been past the earth in 50,000 years coming up in just a bit. Oh, all right. Looking forward to that, Kelly. Thank you. You should download our first worn weather app as well. You can get those hour by hour temperatures right down to your neighborhood. All you have to do is search for WIC weather in your app store. Coming up in May, the federal government will end emergency measures put in place for the COVID pandemic. So that means an end to free treatments, testing and vaccinations. Critics of the policy ending say that this will disproportionately hit those who have had the most difficulty accessing good medical care and services. This will also end Title 42, the policy allowing authorities to swiftly remove migrants at U.S. land borders. Some Democrats in Congress say it may take some time to wind down the policies. We want to make sure that the vaccine remains accessible to people. Uh, we want to make sure that testing is available through insurance programs. Those are the types of things that we're concerned about. Right now, the House Oversight Committee is holding hearings to look into fraud and abuse of federal pandemic relief money. In the United States, 500 people are still dying each day from COVID. New this morning at 632, the man accused of breaking into a south side home is now in custody this morning after police tracked him down with footprints left in the snow. Police say it happened on Badger Lane Road. The victim said they woke up and found the suspect in their home. Officers followed tracks leading from the home to the man who was walking barefoot through neighboring yards. The 29 year old suspect faces charges of attempted burglary, criminal damage to property and resisting. A woman shot in rural Iowa County last week has died. It happened at a home in the town of Wyoming last Wednesday. The victim was taken to a hospital in critical condition and ultimately died from her injuries. The police arrested a 34 year old Hill Point man for the shooting. The suspect now faces potential charges of homicide by intoxicated use of a weapon. A baby in Milwaukee is dead this morning after the car he was in was stolen and wrecked. One year old Zarian Robinson was strapped in the back seat when a woman stole the car and crashed with him inside. The mother says she left her son in her unlocked car for just a few minutes to run into her home when it was stolen. Police say they found an open container of alcohol in the vehicle. The 31 year old suspect is still in the hospital this morning. She has not been formally charged yet. 633 now a new fire 
district will be starting operations today, covering some 200 miles and 25,000 residents. This was the area that was previously covered by the Edgerton and Milton Fire Protection Districts. It's been expanded now to cover a dozen municipalities in Dane, Rock, and Jefferson Counties. This redistricting was brought on by the need for a longer-term solution to the different communities facing staffing shortages and increasing costs. Planning for the district started a couple years ago, so now there will be three or four separate fire stations housing the different crews. A power surge over the last weekend may be to blame for a fire on Madison's west side. Fire crews were initially called to the home on Gilmore Street for a carbon monoxide alarm. The people inside say they had been using several space heaters after losing their heat from the power surge. It turns out, in addition to the carbon monoxide, there was also a small fire in the attic and ceiling. Crews found smoldering insulation and burning wires. They were able to put it out. Several changes could soon be coming to Madison schools. It follows the MMSD State of the District address last night. Superintendent Dr. Carlton Jenkins proposed updating more older school buildings and facilities, preparing students to graduate with an awareness of social justice and environmental issues, and engaging with lawmakers to secure additional funding for public education. Let's talk about a little bit about where we are. And this is it over the last 30 months. We've been engaged as a staff to really try to put things together so we can be that district. That district that becomes a leader in the nation of showing other districts of how to accelerate learning for all students. Despite the presentation, including a discussion on where the district can improve, Superintendent Jenkins emphasized that the district is moving in the right direction. You can watch the full State of the District address at channel3000.com. Teachers hesitant to work last summer may have a new incentive to do it this time around. MMSD teachers will now be making $40 an hour this summer. It's actually a return to old wages after a sharp decrease in teacher participation last year. There were some issues that were on the minds of the school board when approving this pay increase. Two middle schools became one middle school because of a lack of staffing. Um, some students were actually, who were enrolled in summer school were all of a sudden uh, unenrolled or removed from summer school because they didn't have the teachers or the staff to provide, um, to provide instruction. While this could be considered a victory for teachers, there's still some school staff that won't be getting the pay hike. Looking ahead, open enrollment for the next school year begins next Monday already. Through the open enrollment program, parents and guardians can apply to send their children to any public school district in the state. We have a link on our website where you can fill out an application. They have to be submitted by April 28th. For the second day in a row, the community had a chance to hear directly from Madison's three mayoral candidates. A forum was held at the Urban League on South Park Street last night. Topics discussed included zoning and maintaining affordable housing in the city, also racial disparities in schools, as well as equitable hiring practices and how they would approach the 1849 abortion ban. To hear the candidates' responses, we have the entire event posted on channel3000.com. Interesting story here, a new 911 live streaming system is saving lives out in Connecticut. Dispatchers in New London sent callers a link to have them share videos, pictures, or even live stream what they're seeing to better help them. The system was intended to help callers with anxiety better communicate with dispatchers. Officials say in the last month, 70% of the live stream platform connections were successful and they were able to get help faster more efficient, efficiently. 637, let's take a live look outside on a Wednesday morning. Kelly says we should see a very, very nice sunrise this morning, though it is very cold out. We've got a little rebound in temperatures before another cool down as we get closer to the weekend. He'll have his alert day in that forecast coming up. And how Buffalo Bill Safety Tamar Hamlin is teaming up with the American Heart Association on a new initiative. We'll be right back. Save, we want our fresh produce to meet your expectations, which is why we do up to a 27-point inspection to check for things like color and scarring. Because when it comes to fresh, higher standards mean fresher produce. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone.
The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. It's the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale. See a huge selection of RVs, camping equipment, and campgrounds all under one roof. Meet Gilbert Brown, Gridiron Great. Tickets are just $10 and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Experience the great outdoors at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Why do dermatologists worldwide recommend La Roche-Posay? Effective skincare like La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer delivers double action to help repair skin's barrier and provide 48-hour hydration for healthy-looking skin. La Roche-Posay. This ring is a commitment. After we got married, I got very sick. He will come every day to help me walk again. And now I'm back. This is a reminder that love endures all. Express your extraordinary love. Jared, love brilliantly. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you back here at 10. Are you a fan of News 3 Now? How would you like a chance to work with the anchors here at News 3 Now and actually produce our newscast? If you are a strong writer, have an interest in news, a well-rounded education, and have a great attitude, we have all the resources needed to train you to be a valued part of our team. The only thing missing is you. Here's your opportunity. Come work with me and join our award-winning team. Apply online today. When we designed the all-new Honda Pilot Trail Sport, we made it adventure ready. With features like an enhanced all-wheel drive system and off-road tuned suspension, so you can blaze new trails. The all-new Pilot Trail Sport, the most off-road capable Honda SUV ever. Visit your local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. Buy online or reserve from select Honda dealers. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. At Pick and Save, however you shop, in-store, pickup, or delivery, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. An area home renter facing eviction over an unexpected rent hike. When I looked at it, to me, it was a strong arm tactic. As rent prices rise, at times without proper maintenance or amenities to match, what can tenants do to protect themselves and stay in their homes? 35% of people in the country are renting, so it really does impact so many people. Naomi Coles looks into how action by the federal government could hold the keys to a new set of renters' rights. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back at 6.30 or 6.41 this morning. Buffalo Bill Safety Damar Hamlin is teaming up with the American Heart Association on a new CPR initiative. After collapsing on the field last month, Hamlin has stepped up advocating for everyone to know how to do CPR. Hamlin and the Heart Association are launching the Three for Heart CPR Challenge, which follows three steps. First, participants must watch a video on hands-only CPR. Second, they must make a donation to the Heart Association to fund the CPR education and training. And finally, challenge friends to do the same. Hamlin challenged LeBron James, Tom Brady, and Michelle Obama, hoping this challenge will increase CPR awareness and education. We all know losing weight can be good for our heart health, but a new study says it can also be good for our brain. That study found a correlation between the brains of obese people and patients with Alzheimer's. Researchers in Montreal found the gray matter atrophied in similar ways, suggesting that losing weight could slow cognitive decline. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has signed a bill in a law that gives the women the fundamental right to access abortion in the state. With the new law, Minnesota becomes the first state to codify abortion rights via legislative action since Roe v. Wade was reversed. Minnesota's Republican state lawmakers argue that the new law is too extreme, however. The Biden administration is hopeful that the legislation will encourage ballot initiatives in California, Kansas, Kentucky, Michigan, Montana, and Vermont to codify abortion rights rights in those states as well. 642. Let's check in with Kelly Slifka. Another freezing start this morning, Kelly. Yeah, we've got temperatures that are very cold this morning. And uh, you notice on the map, all the uh, temperatures vary a lot simply because some folks have a little bit of wind. Other folks have calm winds. And we've got the Arctic air mass in place. And it's kind of a trade-off. Either you have no wind or it's cold, like Madison, 3 below. Lone Rock at 7 below. 10 below in Boscobel. However, where they do have a wind, it's 10 degrees in the Dells. Janesville at 3. Monroe at 2. But you notice some of these locations do have a little bit 
bit of a wind and that's created a little bit of a wind chill. Across Dane County, really the airport has been one of the coldest spots at three below. Most locations are in the single numbers. Either way, it's still a very cold start to the morning. We've got the sun coming up and eventually that wind will pick up a little bit and that should bring us some warmer temperatures uh, going into the afternoon. Right now the calm winds continue in Madison. That's why it's below zero, but a 10 mile per hour wind in Monroe and also the Adels and that's what's creating the wind chill at four below in the Dells. 14 below right now in Monroe. Uh, wind chill values this morning a little bit chilly, but uh, we should be in, see improvement this afternoon. Want to take a look out tonight. This is a very rare green comet. In fact, the last time this green comet has passed by the Earth was 50,000 years ago. That's during the Stone Age. It's going to be moving slowly across the northern sky. So look for the North Star, maybe a little bit lower on the horizon, and you should be able to see it. It's going to be moving very slowly. It's not going to be like a falling star or a fireball that we sometimes see, but it will be the closest to Earth tonight. And once again, just look to the north. The best viewing is going to be probably toward midnight, if not after, because we're going to have to deal with a little bit of a moon tonight that may create a little bit of light pollution. All right, 22 expected today. We're running a little bit below our average, but a lot better than we've been. A lot of sunshine today as temperatures warm in the low 20s. And we should see clear skies tonight for viewing the uh, comet tonight. Temperatures today in the lower 20s, so definitely better than where we've been. A bit of alert, uh, alert day for tomorrow because of some bitterly cold weather uh, for ton uh, tomorrow night into Friday. We could see some of these wind chill values close to 30 below zero as some of this cold Arctic air plunges south of the border. And that'll only be with us through Friday. Then it looks like it'll retreat. and We'll quickly get into some warmer weather uh, for the weekend. So we have the alert day Friday. A couple of nice days before that Arctic air comes back at us on Friday. We'll be back in the 30s, maybe above freezing this upcoming weekend. All right, Thanks a lot. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, folks, want a nice warm bowl of soup. The annual Super Bowl for Habitat for Humanity is going on. Jenny and Olivia from the Ameri uh, from Habitat for Humanity are with us this morning. And I'm going to be one of the celebrity servers on Saturday. And I thought you guys could help me out. I need some help with my serving skills. So <laughs> I brought in some soup. I made some soup yesterday. I Enjoy. hope you guys like uh, uh, cheddar baked potato Ooh, soup. Here's yeah. our bread, by the way. We'll get some bread to go with it. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, so while we talk about this, I want you guys to help me out with my with my serving technique. All right. To make what sure bowl that, would that, you that like? We're gonna, that we're going to serve this up just right. Hold on. I'm going to set this off to the <laughs> side. Um, and I got to put my apron on. So first, Jenny, why don't you tell us about... Uh, the event and what it does for Habitat for Humanity. Yes, yeah, so the event um, helps us raise, on a couple years ago, we raised $20,000 right before the pandemic. Um, so we're hoping to get to that back, back to that level. And with that money, um, the UW chapter sponsors a Habitat home every year. And so they'll be building with that family. Um, so uh, it's right in Madison on Bell Street, that home. And it's a, a home that was donated to us that we are completely rehabbing. So it's a 114 year old home that we are rehabbing for a family. Um, mom and dad and three kids. So the money raised at Super Bowl will be going towards that. Awesome. Okay, Olivia, mm -hmm. uh, you're with the student chapter uh, yes, at I UW. Am. Yep. Uh, uh, you gotta show me how to. Okay, so. All right. First, pick out a bowl because okay, that's what you'll be let's doing do this at the big event. Because I want as little slop right. as possible. That's going to be my goal on Saturday: is to make sure that I don't make just an enormous mess. <laughs> my, my fear is that I'm going to slop it into the bowl and I'm going to get it on somebody's clothes or something like that. So I got to. I got to. I got to gently. Practice makes perfect. So okay, let's so see. We're gonna we're gonna ladle All it up, right. maybe, maybe shake a little of yep. the, the drippings off. I'll hold it up closer. That's good. Oh, I guess yeah. we want as little space go. as possible oh, in between. Oh, perfect! Beautiful form. Just like that. It's it's nice and warm. I seriously made this yesterday. The, this cheddar, it smells this great. cheddar baked it potato. It smells really Amazing. good. So everybody's gonna. Uh, Kayla, I need another one here. Oh okay. yeah, this one for Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Oh yes. Well, here we go. I hope you. Got, I hope these bowls are clean. Oh, <laughs> so they, they, they yes. are. Okay, get it nice and deep into the bowl. Oh boy. Beautiful. Okay, got a little drip here. I got to work on that. <laughs> and I got, so I got some spoons here uh, awesome. for both of you. Oh, thank oh, you. Two spoons for you. <laughs> and what bread is also included. Oh, thank you. Bread's also included on Saturday. Awesome. This, this is a heck of a deal. A big fundraiser. Your biggest fundraiser for Habitat for mm -hmm. Humanity. Uh, they could certainly, uh, have, uh, they'd love for you to come out. Uh, let's let's cheers. Yeah. Let's cheers some bread and some soup. Alrighty. Here we go. I dip. I'm a dip. Oh, you know what? I'm a dip. I'm gonna try let's that. Where's my bowl? You guys are gonna get some. Don't worry. <laughs> I got enough for everybody. You know I like my food, mm. Stanford. Mmm. That nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Delicious. Let's put up the details.
this Saturday, the Super Bowl, S-O-U-P-E-R, it's at Madison <laughs> West. Uh, and, and it's from 12 to 6. Uh, I'm going to be serving, I think, from, from 1 to 2. $25 gets you a meal that's soup, salad, and bread, and the bowl. And look at that, family of four gets all of that for just 50 bucks, and you're helping out a great local cause. Jenny, Olivia, thank you both for coming. I'll see you both there on Saturday, yes, right? Yes, you will, yeah, thank, thank you, you for the soup. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, that's amazing. Take some with you, I got a lot. <laughs> all right, coming up after the break, we're gonna have the latest from Madison Police after a bank robbery. First, though, we want to say happy birthday to Clara. Then all the kiddos turned three. Thanks for celebrating with us. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Right now is absolutely the best time of year to buy furniture, and Slumberland Furniture is the best place during our huge President's Sale. Check out this gorgeous sectional, and it comes with a free ottoman, plus so much more during our huge President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zycam's love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam zinc that cold. Your foundation doesn't improve the appearance of under-eye puffiness. Your concealer doesn't make fine lines disappear. Even worse, they can make those imperfections more noticeable. Introducing Tint and Titan, a new must-have lightweight tinted cream that is sure to find its place in your makeup routine. Tint and Titan is the only tinted cream that creates a temporary tightening layer on the surface of the skin, which works to instantly reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and under-eye puffiness. So with foundation, normally it just Kind of, you know, you just cover up and conceal things, but with Tint and Titan, it actually changes the way the skin looks. The lines are actually gone, so you don't get any of that buildup within them and the creases that you normally would see with when you wear foundation. Tint and Titan works to smooth out wrinkles and under eye puffiness in just 10 minutes while covering and concealing dark circles, age spots, and uneven skin tone, making you look and feel years younger. I will be turning 59 in June of this year. Using Tint and Titan, for me, I'm actually very confident right now that my wrinkles won't be as obvious. It is giving me the support that I think reminds me that I'm at my best right now. 40s is a bit of a shocker for me because 40s I noticed the skin under my eyes getting very loose and then 50s hit and I'm 54 and I really notice the difference in the firmness of my skin here and especially here. I'm glad there's products like Tint and Titan out there so that I can just put this on and not worry about what I didn't do in my 40s, my 30s, and my 20s. And it looks like I always have. It's a pleasure and it's actually a gift for anyone. What's even better is that these remarkable results last for up to eight hours without needles or injections. Want to look your best for that upcoming event, date night, or job interview? Maybe you simply want to feel younger and more confident with your appearance. Then add Tint and Titan to your makeup routine and bring youthfulness back to your life. Try it this Valentine's Day for only $19.95. Plus, get free shipping and handling. Visit TintandTitan.com or call the number on your screen. The local water experts at Culligan can take care of... Everything but the kitchen sink. Actually, we do that too. Culligan, here for every water worry. Look at the mattresses. <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Right now at our huge president sale, get this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland, mattress shopping reinvented. We're Brothers Maine, and we want you to feel like family here. It is 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Madison police are still searching for a bank robbing suspect. It happened last week. A man walked into the UW Credit Union on North Point Drive, handed the tellers a note demanding money, and then got away with cash. A canine unit was called in to track down the suspect, but so far no arrests have been made. It is so cold this week, Porch Light is turning to you at home asking for winter weather gear donations for its residents. They say they need men's coats and winter accessories sizes large and up. Any donations can be dropped off right at the shelter on Zyre Road. The Dane County Medical Examiner's Office has identified a man whose body was pulled from Lake Wabisa this weekend. 45-year-old Richard Knudsen of McFarland was pronounced dead at the scene Sunday. A preliminary exam confirmed that he died from drowning 
Search teams say that they found an area Saturday night where it appeared an ATV may have gone through the ice. Former President Trump pled the fifth more than 400 times in a New York civil investigation into the Trump organization. The $250 million lawsuit is against Trump, three of his children, and the Trump organization, accusing them of manipulating the value of properties to make more money. The case is expected to go to trial in October. In New Mexico, actor and producer Alec Baldwin has been officially charged in connection with the 2021 fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust. The charges against him and the set's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, include two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Attorneys for both defendants previously insisted their respective clients are innocent. PayPal is joining other tech industry leaders this morning in announcing layoffs. The online payments technology company says it is cutting its staff by about 7%. That amounts to 2,000 employees losing their jobs. On Wall Street, shares of PayPal are down more than 50% over the past year. Big Oil is back. ExxonMobil reported an income of $14 billion in the last quarter. It adds up to nearly $60 billion in earnings for the year, which beats the previous yearly record of $45 billion set in 2008. Energy companies are under scrutiny right now in Washington for using profits to repurchase shares instead of increasing production. Boeing has delivered its last 747 jetliner. The double-decker airplane has been around for more than a half a century. 747s have been seen in the James Bond films, shuttled six presidents, and giving piggyback rides to space shuttles. This last plane was sold to cargo operator Atlas Air. No passengers will ride in it. The Justice Department wants to look into Tesla's autopilot and self-driving systems. The company confirms the DOJ has requested documents related to the technology. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is already investigating Tesla's systems. That's after some reports of auto-engaged Teslas crashing into emergency vehicles. Slick roads and dense fog contributed to a multi-vehicle crash that shut down a major interstate in West Texas. Traffic was backed up at least 10 miles in the areas impacted by severe winter weather. Video shows jackknife semi-trucks blocking both lanes of traffic and vehicles scattered in between. All right, we do have some cold weather this morning. We've had fairly light winds in Madison. We actually jumped up above zero now. Uh, one degree in Madison after being down to four below earlier this morning. Uh, temperatures in a single number, some below zero temperatures. Not a whole lot of wind, but where they're seeing the wind, temperatures are a little bit milder, but also you're seeing the wind chill. So 12 below zero right now, the wind chill in Monroe, Juneau as well. Wisconsin Dell is at five below, seven below in Lone Rock. So bundle up this morning. We are expecting a lot of sunshine today, and with a southwest wind, it will be a warmer afternoon. So we're topping out in the lower 20s today and actually another decent winter day for tomorrow before the Arctic blast gives us the alert day Thursday night into Friday much colder weather quickly though we rebound this weekend looks pretty decent maybe actually going above freezing no uh, storm systems in our site for Saturday and Sunday temperatures in the 30s this weekend all right Kelly thank you make it a great day we're back with a live update at 726.